Hello and welcome back to Animoiopolis, the infinite underground mall space nightmare walking simulator. We are the greatest hidden object players in the world. My name is Michael. I'm Amanda. And uh, have we got a treat for you today? We are trying to get out of here. It is not easy. The architecture is actively working against us. On the plus side, Every sale equals one ticket, and the sales associates are happy to help us out. They've got some paperwork for us in the bins on the ground floor. We, we don't yet know what that means. These seem to be the bins. Why would you... Th those are racks. Well, then these are bins. Yeah, garbage bins, but that doesn't seem... There's no paperwork. It's a hard puzzle to solve. So we tried the uh, mini golf. Last we time we played, we played mini golf. Uh huh. We only got five tickets there, and then uh, twenty-four holes of golf. Oh, there Here's we go. Tickets. Did we miss those before, or does it just put tickets in a different place every time? Around here. Hard to say. We don't have enough experience to know for sure. So we need tickets to go to the various other attraction areas, it would seem. And the next closest one that we might be able to afford is 60 tickets to go to the theater. Yep. Yep. 60. And we're supposed to keep an eye out for bins full of paperwork. I have my doubts that such exist, but... It could be a red herring. Mm. Oh, there's one. All right, 55. We can just find five more. We can go take in a movie. Man, I can't wait to see the kind of movie this place shows. I'm kind of interested in if we're going to see an infinite movie theater where you just keep going down the nice uh, carpeted hallways and never find it opening up into a theater. So much unused space. All of it lit up so brightly. Seventy-five tickets to go into the aerobic fitness and relaxation area. But we're getting our steps in. Clomping around looking for tickets. There we go. Look at that. Twenty, 20 tickets. tickets. We're rich. We are ticket rich. Well, that's what we get for being the best hidden object game players. We find hidden objects. Except for the bins full of paperwork, which still elude us. Assuming they exist. If they I even think exist. you're probably onto something that if we spend enough time wandering around on this level, it will refresh some of the ticket spaces and you can farm them that way. Alright, so let's see a movie! We have plenty of let's all go to the lobby. Get ourselves some snacks. Bum bum. Bum bum. <laughs> oh, music changed. I can tell you, as someone who was alive during the heyday of malls, they usually played worse music. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Digging the carpet. Yes. Wait, it's 10 to go back. Oh no. <laughs> I think we do have to. I think, yeah, we'll be able to leave. So there are no movie posters, just places where they could be put up. Just the frames. Hmm. So what's showing? A whole lot of nothing. Cool. Ah. There's our tickets out if we didn't have any. Cute. What about over here? Got any for me over here? 
No showtimes visible. Oh, parkour. <laughs> Here we go. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Oh, you know it. That this is procedurally generated eternity. Next level. Let's know. Next level. So, is this side where we were supposed to come up? Or... No, we were always going to have to figure out how to parkour our way up. Good thing we got those cricket legs. Is there another way out of here? So that's closed. Yep, there sure is. Um, There's some tickets to you, right? Nice. Yeah, I guess that was always going to be the way out. Otherwise, they were going to leave us in this lobby or turning around and leaving. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm on to their tricks. I know how to get upstairs. Hey, what's up there? Oh, that's just a light fixture. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that uh, those are also supposed to be like movie poster frames above the kiosk? Yeah, or that's where they would put like um, prices. Yeah, I would have expected monitors with the show times or something. Well, before they had monitors everywhere, they would put up, you know, letter boards and stuff. That's true. You might get letter boards in the kiosk. Yeah. All right. Uh, ready for the next level? Let's do it. Yay. It's showtime. Oh, is it? Or is this is it not the movie theater. Lost time. Uh. Sure. Yeah, they're would be arcades on the way to the screen in case you're there early everyone loves the ferris wheel game <laughs> where you drop in a quarter and then pretend like you're sitting and riding in a big wheel there's no controls look at that that one is a roller coaster and if you look inside it there's literally just a safety bar to come down, so you just get to pretend you're in a roller coaster. That's funny. These are some of the most passive entertainments. Does this one rock back and forth? Hey, little guy. Needs a little tuning. He's fine. <laughs> oh. Okay. What? This is creepy. That's all. <laughs> the fact that our eyes adjusted in the dark. A little hummy back here. Uh -huh. What's back here? Is this staff only? Uh, or a changing room? You can tell. I'm just looking for tickets, man. Eyes on the prize. Tickets are overrated. I'm here for the experience. Okay, a little rack in the way. Oh, so these two businesses were connected. Whoa, 50, 50 tickets. tickets. Wow, that's what we get for being brave enough to come in here. Is there a mannequin behind us? Over to the left. You're right. Look straight out the store. Yep. Mannequin friend. I think, are we up against glass? There's no way out from this side. Huh. That's Unless, weird. can we open the front? Hot wire. Whoa. Complex. This is a great deal more complicated than the one we played before. <laughs> All right, I already solved the red one. All right, tell me which way to go. Uh, left, down, down, right, down, 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 left, down, 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 right, down, right, down, 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 right, down, right. Boom. Okay. Okay. Um, right, right, down, and then take a left. And just keep going as much down as you can. And then right, down, right. Uh, 
Cool. Saves oh. us from having to go through the back passage. Okay. How's your sweet tooth? You want some candy? Heck yeah. How would you like them on the ground? I mean... <laughs> I mean... Can I... Can I catch one? Nope. We don't have any hands, apparently. Aww. Those reflections are really... They are. I, keep, I thought that was a string of tickets down there for something. Because they... <laughs> You get, like, some weird finger shapes happening with the way that the light is bouncing off Yeah. the back and the gumballs. That's, uh, that's some hmm. oddness, yep. All right, they don't want to let us closer to wherever the movie is showing, so we're going to have to find another way in. You were telling me not to get distracted by the golf. Uh-huh. You're getting distracted by the movie. Hey. Anything in here? Like creeper work? Nope. Still not the right kind of bin. Red herring. Wait a minute, could you look behind you and out towards the mall again? Yeah. The mannequin moved. Our mannequin friend was looking out the front at us. Must be a different mannequin, that's all. Nope. That mannequin's up to something. Not moving now. Yeah, it's probably fine. Of course it's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is great. Hop, hop. Where is the movie? Through here? Must be. <gasps> Whoa! So bright! Right into the projector. <laughs> mm, I think we may have just found more mall. Hmm. Oh, it's bright in here. The loungy kind of area. Oh, the noise is very bad here. Oh, wow. The, the noise is quite grating. All of the various electrical hums have kind of a low, rusty sound to them in this area. It's uh, not pleasant. Not pleasant. But accurate. Oh yeah, it's all accurate. When was the last time you think you set foot in a mall? Um, it was probably the last time I got my uh, computer repaired at the Microsoft store because there's a Microsoft store in Westfield Mall in San Francisco. Yeah, that one uh, mall down by Civic Center, is uh -huh. it? Uh-huh. Yep, it's right on the BART line. It's probably still there. Probably. It sounds I like, like this a, carpet. It sounds like a whole lot more than just gumballs are falling. Like loose change as well? Yeah. And, like, rocks. <laughs> That's way yeah. too heavy to be golf. Maybe or, don't put any of those in your mouth. It's a good thing we're letting them spill on the floor. Mm. Come on, game. It's been a little while since you gave me tickets. You gotta keep that dopamine coming. Especially since I am officially ADHD as of this week. So. Congratulations on your new diagnosis. I'm glad that uh, the doctor recommended that all you need is an endless supply of tickets <laughs> hidden on the floor in an infinite mall. <laughs> this was perhaps the easiest medical treatment we've ever signed up for. This is a prescription video game. Hey, there's our mannequin friend. What? Where? You gotta get better situational awareness if you're gonna get stalked <laughs> by a mannequin. What? Where? to be 
instantly it's white a- against white. Excuse me. You need to be instantly aware of mannequin presences. That's how She's they get you. Fine. Didn't your doctor warn you about them as a side effect? <laughs> One of my favorite pranks that I ever saw in my life was very simple and was at a mall that I went to when I was a young child in San Jose, California. We were on the second floor of a mall space and the um, the railings that connected the various spaces were wood. It's very pleasant to run your hands along them. And uh, in the middle of one of these connecting uh, walkways, I saw that there was a shiny quarter on top of this wooden banister. I went to go pick it up and found that it had been super glued onto the railing. (laughs) And it was perfect. Because it was right out where it would be visible in a place that you would probably be running your hand along anyway. Or looking out at the, the ground floor of the mall board would have just caught your attention and also a quarter is a denomination where you're like heck yeah i'm gonna pick that up i could get five gumballs that i'd let fall on the floor for that (laughs) amount of money back in the 80s we used to drop gumballs on the floor all the time it was the style it was the fashion at the time Mm -hmm. i knew there were some around here i could just feel it we're up to 100 tickets I love the little neon loops here on this carpet. Mm -hmm. It screams either arcade or movie theater, but more arcade. I feel like this is the kind of uh, forced fun carpet that you would see (laughs) at a Charles Entertainment Cheese facility. Mm -hmm. So it probably smells a little like pee, like little (laughs) kids and pee. Oh, I thought for sure we were on our way to the movie, but uh, we don't seem to be. We have been fooled again. Well, the theater is ahead of us, but it's closed off. At least it didn't lead us to a ball pit, (laughs) which was my greatest fear. Well, don't count your chickens. That's all I'm saying. There's plenty of time for a ball pit to show up. So do you know how to parkour your way into the theater this time? Hmm... Yeah, a little hop on the fern, and then what? Observe. I can't make it over this wall. Maybe I can find something to stand on. Oh, like a mannequin? Yeah, where's our mannequin friend? (laughs) Give us a leg up. I mean, I can stand on this. But we never use our hands, so... Yeah. Okay, so I need to find something to stand on. But we've never carried anything in this game. Yeah, we have pushed some uh, racks around. That's a little eerie, the light coming on. I'm yeah. Sure it's just motion sensitive, but uh, it's also a creepy video game, so who knows what's going on. Hey, mannequin friend. There he is. See, they knew that she. we needed him. She. Okay. Right. Uh, I hadn't asked. She bodied anyway. Um... Presenting. She's just going to shove. Presenting. Is that your plan? I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah. Do you have an idea? Nope. Well, she doesn't want to be pushed. So, let's see if we can push maybe, um, I mean, these benches are all together, so that's not going to work. They're too short. Shoes, shoes, shoes. One of these? It's not that much higher than the fern gets you. No. But here's the thing. These are movable. Yeah, one of the few movable things. Yeah. Movable. Few movable things we have found on this level. Oh, not not easy to move. Yeah, that's... That's not going to work. That's no good. Maybe the intention was just to send us back out here so we would find a different approach entirely. Or to get spooked by the manager. Probably to get spooked by the mannequin. More tickets. Thank you. Yes, I will. Let's just... 
That's just a shadow. It's just dark. It's just a layer of shadow layered over there. That's interesting. There is space above shoe, shoe, shoes and no way to get up there. Mannequin is still thinking about following us. No way to get higher or around back here. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's, I don't know. That's weird, that crawl space up there. The fact that they have so many things that don't line up adds to the sense of unease. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's literally nothing out here but garbage cans. Where wait, did I even... wait, 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 down there? Yeah, where did I even find the original thing that we thought was leading to the movie theater? I don't know, but we have not seen the popcorn uh, dispenser, so... Wow. No, Can we move it? Yes. This is what we need. Wow. How do I... I guess I'm pulling it? You can't push it? It's hard to see no matter what. Yeah. I better just find the place again where we're going. Uh, the hallway. Nope. What is that? I don't know. I'm going to go look. I think it's where we came in because we came to oh, these wiggly right. benches was the first thing we saw. You're right. So I'm pretty sure it's on the back left. All right, I'm going to grab the... Popcorn carts. Like, if you can just get it to the left around here, the mannequin's back that way. Be guided by the mannequin. It's uh, that corner. <laughs> For those who are listening, I'm pointing that way. <laughs> it's a little, little joke. Uh -huh. Yeah, because shoes, you can see there. So, mm -hmm. on the right is where the movie theater is. Is it easier to drag it? It is easier to drag it. It's hard to move it around in the front. <laughs> it's lying around. Okay, but where was it? Is it back there? Mm-hmm. Oh man, I can smell the popcorn already. Can't wait to put my feet on it. Mannequin, if you wanna if you wanna help out, this really might be more of a two person job. <laughs> it is it's a little tricky. It doesn't kinda wanna wanna move easy. I mean it's just got the two wheels, so. Also seems like you're grabbing it by the canvas instead of the handles. <laughs> All right, there's the big neon hallway. <laughs> it's like you've never pushed a popcorn cart in your life. What kind of an auditor are you? <laughs> Just pretend it's, I don't know, some tax paperwork. It just gets caught on things so easy and veers off really easy. Ah! I, can't want I didn't realize around. this was going to be the biggest challenge of the game. <laughs> In a game where architecture itself bends to drive you slowly crazy, your biggest antagonist is moving a cart. There's lots of things for it to snag on, okay? Is it 
following it? Yeah, it sounds like you're dragging it without looking at it. Perfect. That's what I want. Perfect. Yay. So, up the fern. Up. Up. Nice. Boop. Maybe it's got to be a little closer. Yeah, maybe a little. Then use those powerful cricket legs <laughs> that every auditor is born with to just do a standing easy leap <laughs> from a fern to the top. Holy there we cow. Go. I mean, no fall damage. This auditor must weigh a ton because they fall straight down <laughs> so fast, but the leg strength is astounding. Oh, we forgot to grab our own bag of popcorn. Aw. Well, here's some consolation tickets, anyway. 20 tickets! Yeah! Tickets can buy many popcorn. <laughs> we don't know that they can, yeah, actually. Maybe. Okay, movie time. Finally! Is it finally movie time? Next level? What kind of genre of film do you think we're going to watch? Science fiction. Hmm. Like the last starfighter. Something with robots? Something with aliens? Does the last starfighter have robots? Probably. I have not seen it in 30 years. <laughs> but I seem to remember that at one point, our last starfighter gets taken to the Starfighter Academy with all the other champions uh, who've been brought from different corners of the universe. And I bet there was a robot in there somewhere. Leave a note in the comments if you know if The Last <laughs> Starfighter ever met a robot. Or if you've written fan fiction about The Last Starfighter meeting a robot, you can link that too. If you weren't the person who wrote the fan fiction with The Last Starfighter and the robot, forget it. We can find that on our own. We only want to know if you wrote it. And there's nothing keeping you from starting to write it right now. <laughs> Pause this video. Open up some sort of a word processor. This does this does not look like the way. Is it? What? Well, just, I, I don't know. I started seeing, like, brick. Oh, but is that the screen? Uh, there is a movie. How are we tuning out the movie in favor of tickets? What tickets? Just because they're medicinal tickets? I think you just passed some there on the left behind you. Well, I'll, I'll do tickets after we see All more right. of the movie. Express City thoroughfares, the rights of way have been so rooted as to displace outmoded business sections and undesirable slum areas whenever possible. Hmm. Sunshine, trees, hills and valleys. I remember sunshine. By God, are lovely. Uh. What was that uh, AI generator that would make stuff that looked like this? Was it Dream? Residential, commercial industrial areas all have been separated for greater efficiency and greater convenience. I don't think this is science fiction. For greater this part is. And greater convenience. I don't see a robot. I don't see an alien. That doesn't mean they're not there. Look, they're talking about God. They only talk about that in science fiction movies anymore. That's true. You just passed tickets on your left. Where? Oh, there they were. My eye keeps getting caught by these white stripes. Mm. Individual enterprise. Oh, there's so many tickets in the movie theater. If there are two things I like, it's efficiency and convenience. All express city thoroughfares. The rights of way have
have been so rooted as to displace boarded business sections and undesirable slum areas whenever possible. If there's three things <laughs> I would add undesirable slum areas. But they're Efficiency, un convenience, undesirable slum areas. But they're undesirable, so you can't desire them. I'm not saying I desire them. By definition. I like them. Hmm. You like something without desiring it. Uh-huh. Which you know because you do. <laughs> yeah. Living proof. Did you see him two aisles back? One to the left? One out to the left uh -huh. on the floor. There we go. Hidden object. We are the best. Best in the world. All right, I think we've cleaned this place out. Yep, probably. We're ready to go up here. Something dreaming, I think the AI generator was. Deep dreaming? Was deep dreaming? Which lent its name to deep fake? Uh, I think that's a, just a different thing that's convergent. If you know the history of AI <laughs> image generation, leave us a comment. Because <laughs> we refuse to look it up or learn anything. Either we remember it, or it probably wasn't that important. I did look up uh, the NMY uh, of NMY Atlas, and they were, in fact, wind gods. As I remembered, Greek wind gods. Mm -hmm. um, well, that makes sense because there are so many winds in this mall. I hear one now. <laughs> what that else? That, I don't think that's a wind. What else would that sound be? That rising sound. Terror. It's the sound of terror. I don't think that's. What is there to be terrified of? Everything's fine. Is that a different movie theater on the left? It does seem like maybe it's a different movie theater. Let's go check. Oh. No. Seems a little different. It's brighter. It's a different uh, film loop. Mm. This was the sound we were hearing, I think, through the wall. I think you're right. I saw the tickets on the far left, right? Most of the popcorn, most of the uh, movie theaters I've visited in my life, you would find popcorn on the floor or garbage. Not so much tickets. So this is a uh, sort of experience only video games can provide in a <laughs> realm of pure imagination where your footfalls are not uh, sticky. You don't hear your sneakers peeling off of the floor. From the decades of spilled soda, imperfectly mopped up. Oh, there's so many tickets in the movie theater. The soundtrack to this video is very eerie on its short loop. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, I'm sure it is fine. Uh, and also, my shoulders are tightening. <laughs> What, just because the loop is getting faster and weirder? and I don't know that it's necessarily speeding up. There's just something about the slow climbing pitch that uh, seems kind of eerie and threatening. Nah. Oh, you're right. <laughs> nah. Okay, well, let's go. Well, it had... It had this image had led into like a, almost a kaleidoscope effect and I don't I wondered if it was gonna loop back around to that. Here it is. Like that. Like that that's interesting looking. That's a cool way to do your loop. Mm-hmm. Loop de loop. I think I've gotten all the tickets from here. I believe you have. Yep. Yeah. All right, so let's go out the store. You know what's interesting is when we enter these theaters, we're at one level, and then we exit 
what should be a floor above. But we appear to be on the same floor. Yeah, because as soon as we go walking down this hallway, we're now going in the opposite direction of where we were going, presumably one floor lower. And yet, if any of these open again to a movie theater, then they'll open yet again one floor up from here. Mm -hmm. That's true. Right, maybe we'll get lucky and they will all be locked. Why would that be lucky? I want to see more crazy movies. You're in luck. Here's one more crazy movie. The light! Oh, this is how we leave. Um, That's fun. What? We're going to enter the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as you're done looking for stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna keep looking for tickets. Or are they messing with me? Like, oh, the yeah, only I think tickets we've... we get. The only tickets we're getting in this one. Giant tickets up here. And this time there's what? No exit door up here on the... On the platform. There is, but it's dark. And it does, it's not very deep. You can't back your way out yeah, of here. Yeah, you can't get in there. Oh, it's so dark back here. You're not going to give me a souvenir roll of tickets so to take with So greedy. Me? How many tickets are in your pocket right now? Do you even know? I don't even know. I don't Just even want care. More. I want all the tickets. We have all the tickets. We have all the tickets that I guess we can leave. One credit. One credit. That's right. Now let me take these. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they got you. They got me. Can I make a leap of faith? Nice of them to leave the creepy sound in the elevator with us, though. <laughs> the movie's not getting any quieter. This game's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> For all that, couldn't we have seen our mannequin friend at least get to watch one movie? Mm -hmm. Sitting in one of the seats? They have got to be so bored waiting for us to come back. No, they're super into music. Hmm. Two elevators left. Now we need to move again. Wait, Only if we want confirmation elevator. that there are two elevators left. Alright, so back on the beat of trying to find bins full of paperwork downstairs. I believe it's a red herring now. Yeah? I feel like we've been everywhere. I don't know if we've been everywhere. Hmm. Tickets did not respawn here. Nope. Don't care for that. Maybe because you have enough tickets to go to the next Remember. space. So do we want to go to the aerobics area or the family tropical fun area? I like the idea of the tropical resort. I like that better than the aerobics. I mean, we could also just go in order of least to most expensive because that's what we've been doing up to this point. Which would mean the aerobics is next, I think. Yeah, because it's 75, right? Yep. Is it open? Replay intro. Oh, that's where we started. Is it? That's what it says. Huh. 
Should I replay the intro? Is there any reason to? Nope. All right. Well, I guess that means we are going to the Family Tropical Resort. Dive bomb this elevator. Phew. There better be ticket fiesta down here. There better be pinatas full of tickets that I can just kind of tap and tickets come showering down. That should be tickets right there. Would you settle for gumballs? Maybe. What am I? Oh, what am I even looking at? This is disorienting. <laughs> huh. What is that? See, they have like ladder shapes on them? Yeah, why? What the? And clouds around the outside for illumination? What's that about? Is that a switch on the wall? Hmm. Huh. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. Where you gotta run red all the way around the outside so yeah, that. I know. This is not our first rodeo. It is kind of weird that we had to hotwire things at the rodeo, though. <laughs> the bulls were not happy. There we go. Oh, maybe they're like heating elements? Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Oops! Yikes! Shouldn't have hotwired it. So many regrets. That was bad. Sorry! It's the... In our defense, it was very easy to hotwire. <laughs> okay. The family Tropical Resort is so hosed. I don't know. Families love broken glass. <laughs> Well, let's forgot. let's get out of here before they find a way to find us. Okay. Because the only currency you have is tickets, and you seem to be kind of attached to those. <laughs> Next level, nobody's taking our tickets. You want to know if there's life after death? Come for my tickets. <laughs> this place makes me uncomfortable. Only this place. Our protagonist has been fine so far. It's this tiny door. Okay, so we did come across this area in the demo. <clears throat> this was laid out with a lot of people in mind. Yep, and no defense against cheaters. You skip the line. Press control or right bumper to crouch or slide. Hmm. I think maybe I had to hit control while on one of those donuts to get a full slide. You're just walking? I think I'm just walking. There it goes down in front of me. Very silvery looking water. Yeah, it's nice. So I do know that the developer added the ability to slide down the slides. Which was you not gotta in, be able to put your butt in a seat. Not in the demo. This area down here with the water noises that sound like somebody talking. It's a very nice effect. I think there is somebody talking over an intercom. Just too far away to make out what they're saying. Well, we heard this murmuring sound when we played it the first time, and we never got close enough to this noise. It's just atmosphere. To hear anything. It's, it, honestly, when you listen to it closely, it starts sounding like out, water outtake. You can observe. Maybe there's a way out in the lazy river. 
So we're going in the exit, huh? Why not? Why not? Words don't mean things. Oh, this is a little more complicated than the demo version of the Lazy River. Ends here. Oh. There was a cave in. Recognize this procedurally generated area. So it's pretty interesting. If you go in the wrong direction, the exit, it brings you to a dead end. And when you try and retrace your steps, it just starts you on the correct entrance without making you actually walk over to the other entrance. Mm -hmm. Very fun, very creepy way to keep you from feeling like you wasted your own time by wandering off in the wrong direction. So if you stand on one of these uh, donuts now, does crouching do anything? They kind of jet away under you? Yeah. Let's see if I can catch up to one and hop on. It doesn't seem like I can really get... No, you just squeeze out from yeah, underneath. Yeah, squeeze out from underneath. Well, we tried. In the name of science. There's a big rock. Hi, big rock. Oh, I thought this was another dead end. No, it's a big rock that we can go all the way around. That's different. <laughs> Most rocks you can't go all the way around? <laughs> it's different. From Is this me. the first big rock you've seen in your life? <laughs> yes. Never seen a big rock before. I'm very sheltered. You gotta get out more. Nah. <laughs> nah. There's still other video games. <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere. Some of these video games even let you pretend like you're walking around outside. Look at this area. This is kind of nice. If you're tired of lazy rivering, you can be in a single pool. Look at that. That's interesting. It's like you could see into other buildings or huh? offices or something out there. Nice way to give an illusion of depth. The other way to give a good illusion of depth is to carry around intellectual books that you aren't actually reading. So other people can see you holding them. It's a little game developer trick. <laughs> Do you think I kind of heard the word situation blended in there? You actually want to stop and try and interpret what that guy is saying? It's layered in with some music. There is no way. Yeah, there's no way to make out what he's saying. His voice is so ducked under the music and the sound effects. Maybe we should paint the ceiling in this rented apartment to look like clouds in a blue sky. Think that would brighten things up in here. <laughs> Hurt. 
Gone a long time without giving me tickets, game. Get Nancy. I think we've been on this bit before. We have. We've been... But, you know, we are in a procedurally generated nightmare world. It behooves us to check it out. If you think about it, the real world is also a procedurally generated nightmare world. I learned that from one of the intellectual books I used to carry around to give the <laughs> illusion of depth. Accidentally read a page. What was it? Sartre Camus? Yeah, was, that's who it was. It was Sartre Camus. <laughs> It looks like a crack in trying to grab the top of a submarine. Yes. Climbing up. Climbing up out of the lazy river. Uh huh. Um, Down some steps. Where does this go? Back to the lazy river? I thought we were escaping! <laughs> No. Come on. <laughs> you, you literally came out two feet from where you started climbing up. I think I'm sliding while I hit control and forward at the same time. Okay. I believe you. Feels a little... You know, when we were trying to walk on slides in the demo felt like he was kind of climbing up the sides a little bit. Yeah. It feels like if you hit control, he stays adhered to the middle better. Nice. That could just be an illusion, though. I'm not sure if that's what that one Ooh, that's nice. Definitely feeling more relaxed. Yeah. Then a tropical bad. It is kind of weird that the Lazy River is as long as the Amazon. <laughs> Shouldn't have to pack a lunch. I don't know what you're talking about. We're already out. Look at this. It's a uh, it's, um, plastic rib cage slide here. Very nice. For very small children. Mm. Nice little, little bridge here. Mm -hmm. and now over here we can go hang out with some. Um, what are these. those buckets for? I do not know. They're just decorative. Different ways to squirt water around. Give your eye something to do. Do they? That's your pet theory? They strung those multicolored buckets up there just to look at them? Yep. That's my theory. Okay. That's my theory, which is mine. I think they're for jelly bean storage. No. It's not a half bad idea. It's wrong, but I'll give it to you. This mushroom. I feel like you have no interest in our protagonist actually drying out. I don't. You want to see if this game has a pneumonia mechanic? <laughs> Just keep sticking his face into jets of water. I'm sure he's fine. We've already been through at least one bathroom, and I'm sure there were, um... Antibiotics? <laughs> No, I was going to say uh, hand dryers so that he could, you know, <laughs> dry himself off. Just stick his entire body underneath the hand dryer. Yeah, why not? Why not? If you want to get dry bad enough, you'll do it. I have never wanted to get dry that bad. Oh, boy. Curtains... The jelly bean catchers. <laughs> I 
Man, these glass blocks were such a design motif in the, the 80s, early 90s. Our college had them just everywhere. They didn't look great. It did not look great. Honestly, not really sure what that trend was about. I think it was about uh, glasses pretty cheap. Probably. I think it started out as a way to, like, um, sort of have a wall of your shower that people could sort of see through. Mm. But not really. Like, they couldn't really see anything. It was just sort of a titillating glimpse of like somebody in the, in the shower. And that's why they were putting them in student rooms? No, I think that then there were just a lot of glass blocks around. And so they were like, well, where else can we put these things? Pretty much anywhere that you want sunlight to get to, you can, that you want a kind of a dividing wall, you could put glass blocks there. And, and so they did and saw that it was adequate. Now, where are we going? The demo, there was a door around here. Like Got us one. out of here. Next level! So there you go. The reason there were so many glass squares back then, they made too many of them. <laughs> and so people were like, might as well use them. I didn't There's say that. There's a little bit of design history for you. I did not say that. <laughs> not what I was saying. This is, uh, they've changed things around pretty good from, from the demo. Like, even though some of these places are familiar, they are put together in different ways. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's hop down here. Whee! There, yeah, control's working. Yep. Whee! You're done, huh? Yeah, bouncing off all the walls. Wow. And when you let off control, you just you stop, stop immediately. dead. <laughs> well, you put your uh, your hiking boots down with their <laughs> strong grips. Yeah. Tickets. Yay! 20 tickets. Heck yeah! Can we get up in there? Now that we can crouch? Oh, we can climb in here. Can you tell where you're going? Uh, no. <laughs> this is probably not good. I think there's actually an invisible wall to keep you from going up any higher than that. Yeah. You can hop on the top, though, maybe. Let's see. And crouch. Oh. Here you go. Okay, okay. Careful. Yeah. This is not how you are supposed to be traveling this thing. Most people travel on the inside, but they're cowards. <laughs> huh. Is there any reason to drop into the room that we're currently above? No. no. Alright, carry on. And that's where we just were, so no reason to drop down there. Wow. Way up here. Way up. Pretty sure you're going to have to jump to the left. I think you're right. Can you actually I'm gonna have to do it from here? Yep. That's where I'm close. So if you fall through one of the holes down there, I'm not even going to try to look at it because I might fall off the edge. But um, I played the demo a few times after we played it on camera. Just messing with it. I was trying to kind of get a sense of what parts were procedurally generated. I see tickets! Okay, I'm going down there. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, I won't. <laughs> Those tickets are for people who fell. <laughs> Those are consolation tickets. Consolation tickets. But yeah, there's some holes down there that if you fall through them, you end up way earlier in the game. 
Now, I don't know how that would play out. Now uh, that they've changed the whole level around? Yeah, now that they've changed the levels around. Actually, it looks like you might end up getting down there anyway. Maybe. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's where they were. Keep those tips. Fall in. Yeah, I know. So there's the spooky area. I mean, it wasn't spooky when we were in there, really. Spooky slides. Hmm. Ha! Do it. Feel it. What was the next total for tickets that we're looking to collect? Uh, 75, I think, to get back to the aerobics area, which I guess we were... We don't need to. We don't need to go this way. We're already here? Yeah, because the other tickets you picked up were at the other end of this pool. Right, right. So we can take the left up here to go down. Alright. Here we go. Wow, bright stairs. Highly reflective. On top of the third lockers. And oh, inside. those bastards. I was terrified they were going to put a small amount of tickets in here. And now you're going to open all of them. I was going to do that anyway. Why? it says interact. If it wasn't to be interacted with, it would say locked. This is the same reason you turned on all the taps? Yes. You gotta try things, bud. You don't. You do. Life is too short. Sometimes you just gotta get back to your accountant's car. Jump. Hmm. Wow! Straight up onto the top. Yeah, got a crazy vertical leap. Wild. <clears throat> okay. Well, we have so much more to explore. And it all looks pretty wet. So, we should probably give our socks a chance to dry out before we get into more trouble. But thanks for sticking with us for the second wet leg of Animaliopolis. Chapter one. Chapter one. We are not done yet, so come back if you want to see if we ever find our precious car again. <laughs> There's an audit to complete. It's important. You know what's really important, though. If you say tickets, I am ending this video. Tickets! Goodbye, everybody. Bye.